Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. Now in today's video I'm going to be showcasing my vintage box software collection. It's something that I've kind of wanted to do for a little while now. Uh, I thought it would be pretty cool to showcase on video because I do have enough stuff now um, that actually would be worth making a video on. So a lot of this stuff some of you guys may have actually seen before. Um, in some older videos, I have done a few unboxing videos on a lot of the software, so if you've been a uh, long-time viewer of mine, you may uh, already know that I have all this stuff, but there are a few things, I think two or three um, pieces of software that I've never done any video on. So yeah, this is going to be pretty cool. Uh, I think it's going to be a pretty awesome video, so let's just get started with it. What I'm going to basically do is kind of... Um, briefly go through individually all of the software that I have and then at the very end I'll actually show you the shelf that I keep all this on and how that I kind of keep it organized so we're just gonna go ahead and start out with um, this piece of software right here which is Microsoft Excel version 4.0 for Windows 3.1 um, as I mentioned before if you've been a longtime uh, subscriber and viewer of mine you may uh, remember a pretty old video in like 2012 or early 2013 that I did on this very piece of software right here um, and that was a older unboxing video I will try to leave a, a YouTube card or a link in the video description maybe both um, just to the full video on this so if you're kind of you know really interested in seeing like kind of what's inside this and me go through like a more you know like five to ten minute detailed video on it um, I will have those links available so you can do that. But uh, yeah, Microsoft Excel, this was sold obviously in the early 90s uh, alongside Windows 3.1. This was also from the time, I believe, that Microsoft actually didn't sell Microsoft Office in a bundled package. They just sold these individual programs. So that's why it's not called Microsoft Office Excel. It's just called Microsoft Excel because they sold this and Word and Excel and or, or they sold Excel here and Word and PowerPoint and Mail. Um, is what it was called. If we go ahead and flip over to the back here, I'll show you what I'm talking about. Um, they do have this image right down here of all of the other Office programs. So they've got Excel, Word, PowerPoint, Mail, and Microsoft Project. So those were, I guess, the original Office programs. This is only version 4.0 of Excel. And yeah, you can see the box is also pretty big. Uh, and this was also from that era, um, from that time where it was very common to bundle very thick manuals uh, with the software because they kind of wanted to include everything and kind of how to do everything so in here there's actually two different users guide there's a user's guide one and two as well as a function reference booklet um the user's guide one just uh the first user's guide alone is like 650 pages so there was a lot of reading so if you had never used any of the software before um, there was a lot of reading to do to kind of get yourself very familiarized with it. And yeah, so there's uh, those three manuals there. I'll just go ahead and pull out uh, this little insert here. This is where actually most of the software is contained. There's also uh, a few more manuals that you would have to read over. Um, but this is also where you would find things like your uh, Microsoft registration card. It's in here. Uh, your, you know, th there's a brief little installation guide that kind of tells you how to install it. And you also have your uh, high density three and a half inch, uh, or not three, and, yeah, three and a half inch diskettes in here as well. So, um, yeah, that is Microsoft Excel. Uh, again, as I said, I'm not really going to be spending too much time on kind of what's in here because I do have those more in the videos already. So, yeah, that is uh, Excel 4.0. Moving on, we're going to continue with the Microsoft Office theme and take a look at Microsoft Word. I believe this is version 2.0. Uh, this one I actually found at a thrift store, and this is from the same time period. I do believe that this version of Word and this version of Excel were sold on store shelves uh, alongside each other because, again, on this Word box right here, we have that same graphic on the bottom, and that Excel box looked uh, looks to have the same graphic as this Excel box over here. So that leads me to believe that these were sold um, kind of alongside each other. They also have the same date on the bottom. They're from 1992. So they are, you know, pretty close to each other. Um, but this uh, Word box is a little bit slimmer than the Excel box. You can see just by a little bit, by like a small margin. But uh, there's only one user's guide in here. It's still a very thick user's guide. I think this one is about uh, 800 some pages. Yeah, 800, almost 900 pages um, in this. I mean, this is how to use a word processor. So there's a lot of stuff that they have uh, contained in this booklet. But... Um, but yeah, so it, it's kind of the same, uh, like 
sort of theme here. I mean, obviously both of the boxes look to be uh, of the same design, but they're also packaged in the same way. So you've got this one here with the same insert and you pull it out. Um, and here is, you've got some more, uh, you know, reading material in here as well. And you also have your uh, three and a half inch diskettes. You may also notice that there are some five and a quarter inch floppies up here. I'll go ahead and pull these out very briefly for you, but um, for whatever reason, the person who owned this and donated to that Goodwill also included a copy of uh, Word Perfect on five and a quarter inch diskettes. This is from 1988, so this is uh, a few years older than the Word, uh, you know, program in here. But yeah, so it is on a, a lot of uh, five and a quarter inch floppies. Um, so that was kind of like an extra surprise. When I opened this box uh, in that original video, I was very surprised that these were in here because I was not expecting this. Um, but yeah, so that is uh, Excel, or not Excel, Microsoft Word. Um, like I said, I think this is 2.0. It doesn't have that same like thing up here where it says new version 4.0. It has this actually with some awards that uh, the program has won. And they're all from 1992. So there's the PC Magazine 1992 Editor's Choice Award. There's the PC World 1992 Best Buy. So there's like a lot of, um, uh, you know, different awards that this program won. Um, but yeah, so that is kind of my two oldest Office programs that I have in a box. And that's obviously Word and Excel. Let's go ahead and kind of push these back here uh, as we move on to our next piece of software, which is also a Microsoft Office program. It is actually a full suite of Microsoft Office. This is uh, Microsoft Office, uh, I, I think it was called Office 95. It may not have had like the 95, uh, you know, moniker thing, but it just says design for Windows 95. Um, this is actually the upgrade version. So this was only for like, if you were using uh, these Office programs back here, um, you could uh, upgrade them to a full uh, Office suite. I, I don't know what the qualifications were, uh, it says that you have to use Microsoft Office, so maybe like the um, like the version of Microsoft Office before this. Uh, you could also upgrade if you were using uh, Lotus One Two Three. And there's also a sticker. This is an actual sticker on here that says the special introductory price now includes Microsoft Access and Windows ninety or for Windows ninety five and Microsoft Bookshelf ninety five. So uh, this right here, I believe, yeah, it's it's the Office Professional Suite right there. So it did come with the five Office programs, Word, Excel, PowerPoint, Schedule Plus, and Access. Um, so yeah, that is pretty awesome. It is also in the same box design that Windows 95 is in. We will get to Windows 95 momentarily here, but just to you know, kind of show you here, there it is, you know, there it is alongside the Windows 95 box. So these were definitely sold all, uh, alongside each other on store shelves, but uh, the Office 95, uh, box. So let's go ahead and briefly open it here. I don't actually have the CD for this one. Uh, that was uh, another big thing, you know, uh, comparing this uh, Microsoft Office version to uh, Excel and Word back there. This came on a CD-ROM. Uh, this was from that era when the CD-ROM was just getting big, uh, and companies like Microsoft were trying to push it. So, like, you know, Windows 95 was the first version of Windows to be sold on a CD-ROM. So, or the first consumer version of Windows, I should say, because I do believe NT, there may have been, like, a few different NT versions that were sold on uh, CD-ROM. But, yeah, let's go ahead and uh, just kind of open this up here. This still came with a very thick manual. Let's go ahead and dump the whole thing out, because it's refusing to come out here. But... Uh, yeah, this came with a, a very thick, this is like the getting started guide, like this isn't even like the full manual, it says getting results with Office for Windows 95, it's not called the user's guide, but it's a very thick, like, uh, you know, getting started guide, I mean, the thing is, is huge, it's like what, uh, 608 pages long, so this is kind of just as big as the user's guide from uh, Microsoft Excel, so it's, it's, you know, up there in, in, in the page length, but we do have a few different pr uh, promotional offers. We also have that same uh, Microsoft registration card. Uh, we've got, you know, some, uh, like a little pamphlet here that kind of tells you about it. We've got a rebate. This was for, you could get 40 bucks back or 55 uh, Canadian dollars. I think this was just for, um, yeah, you had to include a sales receipt of your previous office or Lotus 123 program. Um, to get that $40 back. So I, I guess that you did pay full price for this, but um, yeah, there's also the end user license agreement in there. So yeah, that's that's pretty much Office 95. Um, again, I don't have the, uh, like the manual, or not the manual, but the CD for it. 
So, which I believe is the only program, it's not fully complete. I pretty much have everything else uh, to be fully complete. So yeah, that is Office 95, uh, or Office 4 Windows 95. Let's go ahead and shove that back in the box right here. And yeah, so that is my next piece of software, Office 95. Um, sorry for my chair, it is being very loud, and it only seems to do this when I am, you know, recording video, but, um, yeah, so next up we have, uh, Microsoft Windows 95, um, I did a video on this, it was actually the same video as the Office 95 video, because I got these at the same garage sale, but, uh, yeah, Microsoft Windows 95 is kind of sold in the same, uh, style box as Office 95 is, um, and this also came with the Internet Explorer starter kit, I do have the, uh, IE starter kit is sealed, but the uh, 95, let's go ahead and, I guess I can open this up here. I keep saying I'm not going to do that, but I just like end up doing it anyway. But I do kind of want to show you what is in here. Um, so in here comes with the 95 upgrade again, the CD. So this was definitely from that time when they were starting to push the CD-ROM. They obviously did sell versions of 95 and I believe Office 95 on floppy diskettes. But it was just kind of uh, primarily, I guess, sold on the CD. We've also got that uh, IE starter kit that is sealed in there. We do have an ad for America Online because this is 1995. Um, and we do have a much thinner manual introducing Windows 95. Um, this one is like 90, what, 91 to like 90, come on, yeah, last page. No, 95, I think it's 90, yeah, 95, oh look at that, it's 95 pages long for Windows 95, that's kind of funny. Um, yeah, one of the things that, that you'll notice throughout this when I go kind of go down the line and get some to some newer software, you'll notice that the manual size drastically decreases. So these back here were from 1992 and they had like 600 page manuals. Here's from 1995, so just a few years later. Of course, Office 95, I you know, shouldn't say that because Office 95 still had a super thick manual, but for the operating system, the manual was much thinner. Um, and yeah, we have that same registration card in there again. So. Yeah, that is pretty much the Windows 95 package right here. They all came in this very nice style box. It would kind of fold up, it would kind of lock in right there, and it would go in the protective sleeve. Um, so yeah, that is Microsoft Windows 95. So next up, we're going to kind of do like a three-in-one, uh, because I did get these three pieces of software from the same guy on eBay. And I actually did a, uh, a whole video with all three of these in them. So we're going to go ahead and jump and take a look at Windows 98, Microsoft Windows ME, and Windows XP. So I do have all of the uh, box versions of Windows from 95 to XP Home Edition. All of these, I should say, are upgrade versions. So uh, Windows 98 here looks, as you can see, very similar to the uh, Windows 95 box. It's kind of in that same design. It is more like purplish than blue. Um, and the Windows logo is much more shiny, so that's kind of nice. It does say new version. Um, I don't think this was second edition because I think Windows 98 second edition, the box actually said second edition on it. This one just says upgrade, so um, I don't think this was second edition. It may have been, but there's no hint on the box to kind of suggest that. It just says Windows 98. It doesn't say second edition, but um, yeah, so that is Windows 98. Uh, Windows ME right here. I'll kind of uh, go through this very briefly as well. This one you can actually see someone purchased this at Sam's Club for forty-five ninety-seven. This one does have a decent sized tear, and it. it's you know nothing huge, but it's nothing small either. This was actually the uh, promotional step up uh, version. So this you can only upgrade to if you had uh, 98 or 98 second edition. So if you had Windows 95 and you wanted to upgrade, you would have to buy the full upgrade package. Um, but yeah, Windows ME, better living in the digital world. This, they they kind of did change up the box design a little bit so it looks, you know, totally different. Uh, there's, you know, some different stuff on the back here. And here is your little graphic to tell you if you're a home user, go with Windows ME. If you're a business user, go with 2000 Professional. So, um, yeah, that was that was pretty much, you know, Windows ME. They, they kind of do have the same, um, actually from Windows ME uh, and Windows XP here, they do kind of have the same like on the side here they've got like the same design there and if you look at the windows uh 98 one it's actually pushed down just a little bit so um yeah windows xp unfortunately this box right here is a little bit dented as you can see and i believe this was like something was sat on top of this um, i'm gonna try not to bend it anymore there but um this one for whatever reason i don't know if it was sold like this or if the person that 
uh, sold this to me, just took it out, but there's no, like, uh, little cardboard insert in here. You can see it's just, like, a full box with this, you know, very thin uh, little, almost like a folder here. So the whole box, I don't know if, like, one of those cardboard things was meant to go in here, it was just taken out, but that's the reason why there's this dent in it, because none of the other ones have a dent, because they have, like, that cardboard insert to kind of, you know, back it up, um, and, you know, keep it from bending. So, uh, that is very, you know, uh, unfortunate with the XP box, but, uh, the, the, uh, Microsoft Windows XP Home Edition came in this folder right here, um, on the back is the product key, so I'm not going to show that, but, um, you can see again, you know, when you open it up, this is a very, you know, this is actually pretty cool to, you know, uh, take a look at, because it is treating it like it's new. You've got your CD right there, over here you have, like, some graphics about, you know, like, it talks about, like, hey, you know, this is my network places, and this is, you know, Windows Movie Maker and stuff. Um, also, just to kind of point this out again, you can see that the manual is much thinner. There is this very tiny explore manual, which is literally just like, it's not even like a manual, you just like open it up and there's, you know, it kind of, you know, tells you about like the new Luna theme and everything, so it kind of tells you about like, like the new redesigned start menu and all of that. Uh, so that is, that is pretty nice. And the manual right here uh, is only like, I'm gonna actually just check this right here. There's so many blank pages in the back. There's only uh, 15 pages. So we go from, again, like 600-something with Office uh, over here to, like, you got 15. Even with, uh, with like, Windows 95. I don't know how many pages. 90, oh, yeah, yeah, 95 was 95 pages. We go from Microsoft Windows 95 to Windows XP. We've got 14 pages in this one. So, yeah, manual size was uh, definitely... A large improvement because they killed less trees making this uh, so yeah that is Windows XP uh, and that is that pretty much does it for all of the Windows operating systems that I have in a boxed package so I'll go ahead and just shove this back over there uh, I do have more or two more Windows XP programs I do have um, Office XP standard and Microsoft Plus for Windows XP. This one I did get in that same auction, so someone also purchased this at Sam's Club, I believe, for $32.95. This box is in perfect shape, and it does not, yeah, it, it, it doesn't have that cardboard insert either, so I don't, I, I guess it was kind of like intentionally packaged that way, but this is kind of the same deal. It's kind of like that sleeve with all of your, you know, information. Obviously, this was designed to look uh, you know, because it's a companion program to Windows XP, obviously they, you know, are going to design it, um, you know, like the packaging to look like Windows XP. So let me go ahead and try to get this back in here. And, yeah, so that is uh, Office XP, again, or not Office XP, but Plus for XP. Again, if you want a more uh, in-depth look at all this stuff, I do have that, um, that, like, other video um, with all of that, so I, I will definitely have those links down below. Uh, this one right here is Office XP Standard. This is actually the uh, academic version, so it only came with four programs. It came with Word, Excel, Outlook, and PowerPoint. And it uh, apparently had a, uh, a uh, discounted price because it was for an academic uh, institution. Um, and on the back there, they do compare uh, like all of the different versions. So there was Standard, there was Professional, and Developer. So it tells you like what programs that you get and everything. So um, yeah, that is Office XP right here. Go ahead and set that aside. And now we're going to get into some older software uh, once again. I, I, I've kind of gone through, this is all the Microsoft stuff I have. Now we're going to get into some older software that isn't Microsoft uh, software at all. And the first of those is going to be uh, Digital Research Gem Draw Plus. So this is actually a uh, software uh, program sold by uh, Digital Research that actually came with the Gem 3 desktop environment, as you can see down there. Oh uh, yeah, Gem Draw Plus is a software program that I believe, you know, as the name suggests, it's a, it is a drawing program. Go ahead and pull it out here. I did do a whole uh, uh, unboxing on this. So this is, you know, you've got your, like, three manuals here. You've got your installation guide for Gem 3 Desktop, and you have your uh, floppy diskettes in there. So, yeah, this is pretty cool because, like I said, I don't really know how many people have this. I've not seen many videos of it online because it's... Um, Kind of, I mean, not only is it very old, but I mean, uh, digital research went out of business, and I believe the the mid to late '90s, they were either uh, totally just went out of business, or they were bought out by somebody. But oh uh, yeah, that is uh, Gem Draw Plus from Digital Research. Go ahead and set that aside there. 
Moving on, we have a uh, another program I've not really heard too much about, and I do have it in a in a sealed package. This has never been opened before, and that is a copy of Watchdog PC Data Security. Like I said, I don't really know too much about this program. I, I was able to find on like searching on Google, I was able to find like an old uh, like newspaper ad uh, from the late '80s or the early '90s, whenever this came out. Uh, that was kind of advertising it, but this is version 704 for uh, MS DOS or just you know DOS. Uh, it came on three and a half inch diskettes, the uh, high density. These are actually stickers right here. Um, it was sold by uh, the Fisher International Systems Corporation out of Naples, Florida. So you can see on, on the back here, this is their address. So they were in Southwest Florida. Um, so that is kind of interesting. Um, but yeah, uh, that you know, this is uh, obviously Watchdog PC Data Security, some sort of antivirus, anti-malware thing. Uh, it was actually copyright 92 to 94. So um, this is of course sealed in the box. I've never opened this. I'm probably not going to be opening it um, unless there's some reason to, which there really isn't. And if it ever you know you know gets some value, that value will obviously increase if it's sealed in the box and never opened before. So. This is the only fully sealed box of software that I've just never opened before. I mean, which is really rare to find because, I mean, this is what from the early '90s and it's never been opened before. So, like, how many you know things like this are like you know going to be out there? Because most people back then didn't just buy software and just like would keep it on a shelf and just never open it. So, so yeah, that is Watchdog PC Data Security. If any of you know anything about this program or kind of where it was used. Um, I'd be really interested. Definitely be sure to drop me a comment down below if you've kind of used this program before or if you've even heard of it because I don't really think a lot of people really know about it because there's not really that much information about it online. So it was kind of a um, maybe for like a business only environment, you know, type of thing where, you know, like regular consumers wouldn't really be using it. But um, yeah, that is Watchdog PC Data Security. Uh, next up, we have some IBM software. Um, this right here is IBM DOS version 4.0, so PC DOS 4.0. I did do an unboxing video on this uh, a number of years ago as well. So this was kind of done in that like IBM style packaging where you kind of take the sleeve out and all the software is contained in this little booklet thing here. Um, so there's all the manuals and the software in there. So this was from 1994, I believe. Um, yeah, so this was from, I believe, yeah, oh, 1988, sorry. So this is, you know, somewhat old, uh, 1988. I believe this was still, this version of DOS was still developed by Microsoft and just licensed to uh, IBM. IBM eventually started, uh, you know, to develop their own version of MS-DOS that was actually developed by themselves and not Microsoft, but I think that was in the early 90s when Microsoft and IBM kind of started to drift apart, um, you know, in the early to mid-90s, so... Yeah, that is uh, IBM PC DOS 4.0. Uh, next up, we have a uh, another IBM. This isn't really any uh, any sort of software. It's just a uh, guide to operations for a personal computer XT. So that is that is pretty awesome. Uh, I did get this for free at a garage sale. Um, they did not have the computer to sell, but they just gave this to me because you know they didn't need it. Um, but yeah, it's a guide to operations. There actually is some software in here. Let's go ahead and flip that over right here. But yeah, there was some software in here. There's like a disk for exploring the IBM PC XT. There is a Quad Master 2. I don't think this was you know normally in here. There's also a diagnostic CD. CD, excuse me, floppy diskette. Uh, there's not any CDs in here at all. This is from like the 80s. But uh, and yeah, there's this quad board operation manual uh, that was for like that quad, uh, like that quadroom software. So. Yeah, that is a IBM, or not, like, it's the IBM uh, PCXT Guide to Operations, again, in this kind of nice little folder thing, so that is pretty cool. We'll go ahead and shove that back in the box there. And last but not least, we have a copy of Harvard Graphics 2.3 by SPC Software Publishing Corporation. This is, again, one of those very thick manuals It's kind of in the same... Uh, I, I don't really want to say IBM style, but it's in that like same when you pull it out and it's all contained in like a binder here. Uh, so yeah, I never did a video on this or Watchdog PC data security. So I may end up doing a video on this. I don't know. I mean, it's kind of like a something that's not really like ever used anymore, but there are some floppy diskettes in there. So, um, but yeah, that is my 
I mean, just look at all this, <laughs> all this software right here. Um, I'm just gonna go ahead and put this up back on the shelf, and then I'll, I will actually show you how that I keep it, um, up on my shelf. So yeah, here it is. This is the shelf that I keep everything on. You can see I have, it's, you know, aligned up very nicely. I've kind of got the older Microsoft software here, and we, you know, kind of progress up to, uh, Microsoft Windows XP, as well as, uh, Plus for XP and Office XP, and then we kind of get to the more, uh, non-Microsoft uh, software over here at the end. So, yeah, that is basically going to wrap it up for this, uh, I was going to say brief video, but it's gone on for like 30 minutes, like always, but uh, if you guys enjoyed this video, definitely be sure to give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more videos like this, uh, be sure to subscribe down below. Be sure to leave me a comment if you, you know, have used any of the software before, if you have more information about that Watchdog program, which apparently was a uh, U.S. government Best Buy, uh, as you can see right there. So, um, and my camera just died, so yeah, I'm just going to uh, have to end the video off here. Just want to thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video.